Welcome to GCSE Drama. Uh, my name is Mr Johnson. I'm the Head of Drama and Media at Cifa College. Obviously, I think drama is an amazing subject and I think it's a brilliant GCSE. I wish I could study this version of GCSE myself. Unfortunately, I'm a little bit past that um, now. So why GCSE Drama? For me, the students will learn a uh, immense amount of skills, but in particular, kind of creative analytical skills skills as well as those skills that employers and universities are looking for teamwork skills leadership skills being able to work with in a group having confidence uh, in performance in presentation uh, and working to deadlines which I think are really important skills the one of the questions I got asked the most is what's the balance between theory and practical so uh, just in a nutshell there are three components component one devising is 40% of the GCC is a performance, so it's practical, and a written portfolio alongside that. Uh, component two is a practical performance, purely practical. And then component three is a purely written uh, exam. So in terms of the practical and theory base, I would say it's probably kind of 60-40 in favor of practical. Uh, internally, we will assess devising so we can kind of support the, the, the portfolio part of that and obviously practical uh, component two we will work with that and that's externally examined as is the written exam as well drama is the gcc often kind of leads into some really strong subjects at a level whether that's arts-based subjects languages uh, but also things like a level drama um, dance performing arts at btech um, and also the ctech media course it's a really nice kind of way into those courses but there have been um, students that have studied GCC drama that have gone on to do uh, sciences at, at A-level. So that, that there's, it's kind of a nice passport to lots of different subjects at A-level. One of the great things now is that GCC drama is no longer seen as being a soft subject. So there was a, a time when Russell Group Universities uh, were look, looked at kind of arts-based subjects in particular as being soft subjects. That's no longer the um, case anymore and students that I've taught previously have gone on to study at Oxbridge or have gone on to study medicine as well. So um, certainly drama as a subject at GCSE shouldn't be seen uh, as a kind of um, soft subject in terms of university um, places um, further on down the line. These are just some of the skills. I won't read them all out, but some of the really important ones, I think, are resilience, uh, being able to have presentation skills, teamwork, confidence, uh, emotional literacy these are really important skills which I think transcend other subjects they kind of cross over and have an, a positive impact on other subjects just as well as drama so this is a great quote again I won't read it all but I love the idea that drama is a catalyst and that the idea that do you want to be involved in IT or do, do you want to manage those that are involved in IT and I really do believe that this subject offers great leadership skills to students um, in a way that some of the subjects just can't offer that, that experience. So these are kind of frequently asked uh, questions. Do you need to have taken drama at year nine or have done it uh, in Lambda lessons before and not necessarily? That's fine, but do speak to me. Obviously, if you do Lambda and you have studied at uh, year nine, that's great, but you don't need to have done. Just make sure you speak to me beforehand. I've talked about this practical and theory. Um, is the course based on scripts or improvisation? It's kind of a mix of both. Uh, do we do any performance? We do do public performances. So that will be a monologue or a duologue and a group performance for uh, the second component. And then the devised performance as well. However, you could opt to design for all of the performances. And, this, and those people that love drama, love theatre, that don't necessarily want to be on stage, can decide to be a designer sound, lighting, costume and set. So there is that option as well for those of you that are interested in the subject but don't necessarily want to be on stage. Any questions? I've tried to keep this short and sweet um, because I'm going to see you this evening um, and we can we can talk this evening. But if you do um, want to ask me anything that you don't get to ask me tonight, you can email me um, jjohnson at seaford.org. Um, and as you can see that I'm a, an examiner, senior examiner and moderator for edXL, which is the board that we will be studying. And um, I've also um, helped to write a revision guide. So I do, I've got quite a good understanding of the course. Thank you for listening and I'll speak to you this evening. Thank you.